Now before we start 2.5, we are supposed to learn some algebraic identity. Algebraic identities. Some we have learned in standard 8 and some we are going to learn in standard 9th. All together you have to learn many algebraic identity. They are very much useful for factorization also and for getting the product of two algebraic expression also. Okay, It is useful in both way. To factorize also and to get the product also. Okay? To sum up also. First is x plus y whole square. Did you remember this? x square plus 2xy plus y square. Clear? First term square plus 2 time first term into second term plus second term square. Ulta sulta both you should know. If this is given, then you can factorize like this. If this is given, you can expand, you can write it expanded form by multiplying with x plus y with x plus y and x plus y. Right? So both ways you should remember. If expanded form is given, you, you can get this form by factorization. If simple this form, simplified form is given, you can get this expanded form just by using this formula of expansion. Okay? Second is x minus y whole square. Difference is only middle term is minus. All this identity you have done it also in 8 and you have used it also. Right? You have done sums based on this in standard 8. Right? Chapter algebraic expression. In that you are you had done this four formula. Third is x square minus y square. Difference of two square. And fourth is product of x plus a into x plus b. These four formulas you have already learned in your standard eight. Difference of two square then one bracket sum of their square root and another bracket difference of their square root. And product can add to x plus y into x minus y is x square minus y square. Sum of two number into difference of two number. Product of both is nothing but square of first number minus square of second number. In place of x and y they can give any term, any number, any variable, okay? This is if op the formula, ready made formula is x into x, x square plus ax plus bx should be written together. So a plus bx plus a into b. It is based on that factorization, splitting up. x square plus a plus bx plus ab. Find out product of ab as in, in two factors such that that sum is middle term. So a into b is ab and a plus b is a plus b. Middle term is a plus b. You split up, you open it, make a pair, you are going to get this two fact as a factor. Clear? Now some more formula. Formula of standard 9 now. See, fifth formula. From fifth formula of standard 9. What is this formula you know? Formulas are, did you remember? Any formula? See, instead of binomial, suppose you are asked to write the expansion of trinomial. What is the formula you know? x square first term square plus second term square plus third term square plus two time first into second plus two time second into third plus two time third into first. I can derive this formula by keeping y plus z as t. See, I show you. 
if I start with the LHS. I take y plus z as t. So it is x plus t whole square. You applied your previous formula. It is x square plus 2tx plus t square. Now say goodbye to t. You put value of t as y plus z. Again you applied the previous formula x square plus open it distributive property 2xy plus 2xz plus here y square plus z square plus 2yz formula number formula number 1 so automatically i got x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx and that is rhs clear so this is the derivation of this formula it may not be your in your course okay clear six formula six formula is what is the six formula what is the six formula tell me six formula is x plus y whole cube what is the expansion of this x cube plus y cube plus 3xy in bracket x plus y if i open it it is x cube plus y cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 xy square this way also you can write or if i want to factorize this x plus y whole cube the another way of writing is x plus y another bracket x square minus xy plus y square these are the two factors of x cube plus y cube you remember this seventh x minus y whole cube it is x cube minus y cube minus y ka cube is minus y cube minus 3xy in bracket x minus y so my answer is x cube minus y cube Minus three x square y plus three x y square. Only three times negative, two times negative, one time positive. Okay. X cube minus y cube minus three x y in bracket x minus y. When I open it, it is three x square y plus three x y square. And another way of writing this is x minus y factors x square plus xy plus y square so three new formula you have learned in ninth still you are going to learn some more formula eight what is eight formula you know formula number eight is suppose you are given x cube plus y cube plus z cube Minus three x y z. The factors are x plus y plus z. Another bracket x square plus y square plus z square. And what more? Tell me. Minus x y or plus x y? Think over it. What is it? Plus x y plus y z plus z x or minus x y minus y z minus z x? What is the correct formula? X cube plus y cube plus z cube. One minus three x y z. One factor is x plus y plus z. Another is a quadratic in three variable. X square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. Clear? Children are making their mistake. They are writing plus. they are writing plus instead of minus because in x plus y plus z whole square also they have used plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx so children are doing here mistake and the another formula it is given as a sum in your revision exercise exercise 2.5 but i give you you can remember this if you want to remember this one half 
x plus y plus z. How it is coming? That I will show you. In exercise 2.5, they have asked you to prove that. So we are going to prove. It is x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x. This is a modified formula of this, another form of this formula. Clear? So that we are doing it as a sum. So four formula you have learned in your eight, and four more formula you are learning in your you study in nine standard. You have to remember all eight formulas. In a direct way, in a converse way, okay. Both way you should remember, and don't expect every time x, y, and z. In place of x, y, and z, they can put any variable, any number, anything. You should consider x, y, z as a three terms, okay. These are the three terms, and addition of three terms ka square should be open like this, right? Now we are doing sums based on this algebraic identity. Okay, clear? 